Hi everyone, how are you? Welcome to another question and answer session. This is the physiology portion. A 28 years old lady with hyperparathyroidism and started taking carbimazole to treat this condition. What is the main mechanism of action? So, uh, it is one of the direct questions that uh, we have to know about the mechanism of action of the carbimazole. Here are the options. Inhibition of thyroid stimulating hormone increase degradation of the t4 increase degradation of t3 inhibits release of t3 and t4 in the circulation inhibition of the thyroid peroxidase enzyme so we have to find out the mechanism of action of the carbimazole uh, so uh, first of all let's see the graves disease in graves disease patient develop igg antibody to tgh receptor on the thyroid gland and as the igg antibody against the tgh receptor so what happens it causes chronic and long term stimulation of the gland to release of the thyroid hormone and typically situation is raised thyroid hormone and low tss so in case of grave disease t3 and t4 it usually increases and for feedback mechanism tasa's level will decrease and thyroid receptor autoantibody should be checked regularly for treatment of the grave disease and here you can see the carby muscle the carby muscle is one of the important drug used to treat hyperparathyroidism treatment and carbimazole is a prodrug and when it enters in our body it convert into methimazole and you can see this is the methimazole so carbimazole converted into the methimazole and methimazole prevent thyroid peroxidase enzyme it inhibits thyroid peroxidase enzyme there are different type of enzyme in the thyroid gland one of them is thyroid peroxidase enzyme so watch carbimazole do carbimazole inhibit this thyroid peroxidase enzyme uh, so it is now ready that which is the thyroid peroxidase enzyme so carbimazole the carbimazole it acts on thyroid gland by inhibiting thyroid peroxidase enzyme not other options as i said thyroid stimulating hormone it is not true t3 and t4 also not true ultimately t3 t4 will decrease but the carbimazole not directly acting on the t3 and t4 carbimazole act on the thyroid peroxidase enzyme as a result t3 and t4 reduce but carbimazole not direct acting on the t3 or t4